Hello everybody, welcome back to The Godfather. My name's Johnny, thank you for joining me today. I know I said I'd come back for the Red Bull game, but I've flown ahead, I'm enjoying this too much, and we're nearly at the end of the season. That is right everybody, we are nearly at the end of the season. I've been loving the save a little bit too much, I'll be honest, and I think it's got to do with all those beautiful, the lovely green circles you can see in front of you. Not many losses at all. Uh, the last episode, if you can remember all the way back, was that 2 all draw against Wolfsburger. After that, look at the run. It's just amazing. We've lost two games. Um, the one game I said I'd come back for was the Red Bull Salzburg. Different class. We beat them 3-2 all the way back in September. God knows how. I would have been gutted if we came back for that one because they well and truly pummeled us. And literally the last game that I just finished playing before hitting record is WSG Tyrol, you know, WSG Tyrol. Lost 2 now. Terrible. And we battered them. But WSG Tyrol are second in the league. Rebel Salzburg first in the league. The only teams that have beaten us were shows where we should be kind of finishing this season. So it's not going well at all. So like I say, end of the season is coming up. But that's not the full story, as we know, with these strange European leagues. Halfway through the season, we split into a championship group and a relegation group, and we'll find out where we're going to end in between. I'm assuming it's top six, bottom six. I'd imagine there's no relegation, no promotion there. I tell you what, let me find out, and I'll let you know. Okay, I found out, and I was right. It splits off into the championship group and the relegation group. Top six go into the championship, bottom six go into the relegation. Exactly the same as we had with Jalava. We are aiming for this championship group, which is the top six. We're currently in sixth position, but with our form, we should be looking to push on. So with the structure being that way, you can see in the bottom right-hand corner, if I move my big fat head out of the way, that the top five, pretty much, are getting into Europe this season, which is huge. And it's got to be an ambition for us, let's be honest. First and second, I think, are out of the question. We're not getting into the Champions League. We'd get battered. We're far and away, nowhere near up to that quality. But for the European or the Euro Cup third qualifying round, what's this for? Depending on winner of Austrian FA Cup. Don't even know who's in that. Don't even know if we're still in it. But we are looking at getting into their European playoffs. Euro Cup 2. I don't want to get into that. That's that terrible one, isn't it? Let's aim for third, shall we? Shall that be our ambition for the season? We're going to try and get into that Euro Cup in third position but today we've got a game of camera and then we're going to zip through and finish off this league and then we'll get into the championship table after that okay okay today's game is up against Wolfsburger yet again I love playing these on camera I cannot get enough for them and the tactic we've been doing so well with this season is this bad boy I sat on my burger and I did indeed and I enjoyed it actually talking about burgers let's get the burger onto the pitch so this is how we're going to be starting for today Hafez and Saidi on the wings Brilliant players. If you look at the last five games, how this team is performing, bossing it. The wingers could be doing a little bit better, but I'll take that all day long. So, half heads inside the other wings. Bamberg and Petterman, centre backs in front of Kudrich. Ivan Isenia, who is such a good player. I love that role, the defensive midfielder. They just sit there, simple passing. It's, it's a beautiful role. And in front of those, the magicians of Biesa and Naiji, Abraham and Nige on the other wing and Burke out up top. I don't know if I showed you Nige. This is a lad we brought in from our affiliate Zebra, also known as Juventus. And how good is he? Such a good player. Aggression of 20. I love that. He is an angry little boy. And I'm hoping he's going to take that anger onto the pitch. But to get a Roman playmaker, four stars. That tells you how good he is, because I struggle to find Roman playmakers in this game completely. So that's the tactic. Today we've got Wolfsburger. Let's get into the game. Okay, in team talk time, let's get into these boys and rile them up a bit. Wolfsburger 12th, we're 6th, 2 right. We are better than them. Unbelievably better. Check these. Slow that down. Replays, goes, happy days. I'm loving 2D lately, simply because of the shape. Right, we're in orange, Wolfsburger in white. And here we go. Early star from us. Let me move my big fat head out of the way yet again. That is much better. Now we can see the pitch. Ivanencia and Biesha playing about with the ball. Nige into Saidi. Look at this passing game. It's beautiful. Nige. Come on. That football is mwah, just beautiful. Like, absolutely beautiful. The football we play with this snowy, sleety pitch. Nige into Saidi. Nige. 
skips past his man and as far in the corner as you can possibly get, stunning. And he does a bit of a Kevin Nolan. Kevin Nolan in the depths of Austria. Love it. Here we go. Long throw from Hafez. These have been nerfed somewhat in the latest patch, which I'm kind of happy with because they were getting a bit silly. We were talking about like at least one every game, every other game, but we don't need them. We're tuning up. And Saide, who's got himself an assist and a goal in the first quarter of an hour. Hafez out wide, pulls it back lovely. Abram to Saide, first time shot, good block. But look at those reactions. Wow. Love to see it. 2 0 up. We're into fifth, joint fourth, if you will. We're going for that third position. I tell you what, Rapid Vienna, look out. Sturm Graz as well. There's four big teams in front of us. I say four, there's three. WSG Tyrol, never heard of them. But they did beat us. They're a huge team, obviously. Right, coming up to the halftime mark. Stats wise, look at that. 10 shots to three. 60% possession, been a good half. We're playing some good football, and that is it for the first half. Not bad at all. I'm very happy with the way things are going, and then I'm going to demand a bit more, just to confuse them, get into their heads, passive aggressively. Super happy, give me more! Okay, big throw again, keeper gets it. See, another long throw, It's it's gone. You can forget about long throws for the rest of Football Manager. 21. Saidi, good win. Nigel out wide. What's he going to do? Goes back to Saidi. These boys have had a cracking game. Oh, lovely play. Saidi's there. Oh, I thought they were going to go for the little triangle then. Ivana Senia, Petterman. Lovely ball, but he's lost out. I thought that was going to be coming through, but he mops it up indeed. Petterman makes his mistake. Makes up for his mistake. Doesn't make another mistake. And here we go. Building from the back again. A little bit route one for my liking. And easy. I need to check if that is. Oh, you can see that coming a mile off. Hummels. Matt Hummels' his brother. And easy. This lad out wide. Um, Amika Friday, easy. No, it's not. Okay. Are you related to Mr. Easy, who plays for Crystal Palace? No. To be fair, he yeah, he wouldn't be playing in this level. He's a good player. Okay, 70 minute mark is a corner to those. Can we clear it? Oh, do you know what? We're starting to look a little bit sketchy now. Great ball. Well done, Kudrich. Let's demand a bit more. Let's get that off. Are we going a bit too long for my liking? What's going on here? Let's slow the tempo down and go a bit more compressed. See if that does anything. Saltburger into Stumburger. Petterman wins it. Come on. Zimmerman, oh, that's a whipped ball, isn't it? But Abraham, you've got the pace. Keep the ball. Oh, I don't get it. For a short pass in, slowing the pace down, and this happens then. Oh, Saidi with a great tackle. That's as good as a goal, mate. You are my man of the match today. 7.6, you are literally the man of the match. Bumberger, great header. Okay, um, Biesha for Sturm, indeed. That's a great substitute. Ivanisenia, good tackle. Don't like the way this game is going. We made one sub so far. Who else can we bring on? Burkhard can come off for Kvisina. Get a bit more of a presence up there with a the target man on support. He can sit a little bit deeper for us. Where I think we need to plug that gap. And maybe this is going to be the first opportunity. Sturm on the ball. In Venesenia up to Kvisina. Aves, you got the pace. Head up, my son. Bit of composure. Bit of composure. Lovely Sturm. Kvisina. Oh, he's come off his own man. Or is it a corner? Oh, on top of each other, literally, physically and metaphorically. Can we make one more sub? Who can we bring on? Rushai, good one. Tammy Abraham, which isn't Tammy Abraham, has not had a very good game. Let's demand a bit more. Let's not concede now. Come on. Oh, offside. Oh, God alive. Bloody game. This happened last time. The pissing wolves. All right, let's pick this pace up. Let's go a bit more direct. Um, dribble, no, we want to dribble more. Like my six month old daughter, I want us to dribble a lot more. Skip that. Can't do nothing. Oh, the minutes are ticking by. This is two points lost and we can't afford this at the moment. We've still gone up to fifth, but there's games behind. We could drop to seventh here, which would mean we're not even in the champ. I'm talking about third place. We can't be 10th place. Oh. So they've got a game in hand. Goal difference is super close. They've got two games in hand. 
we could drop to eighth. Or given the big one, you're saying we're going to get into the championship group, so we're going to struggle. I genuinely struggle to get into that group. Okay, plan of attack. I'm going to zip forward, get these games out of the way, and you'll find out in the next few seconds if we finish in the championship group or the relegation group. Rapid Vienna and SK Impotent, 11th, a third. Oh, okay, I'll let you know now. Oh, my days. I'm sweating beer. Just walked off the pitch. Beat SK and Simpoten 1 0. Bumberg in the 70th minute. What a man, what a legend. If he hadn't scored that goal, it, it was just too close to call. Honest to God, I'll show you the league now. There it is in all its glory. So between fourth on 34 points and seventh on 32 points, that was so close. We scored at 20 minutes to go. We would have been on 32 points. We would have scraped in on goal difference. That's not fun, is it? But the upshot being those last two games, Rapid Vienna 4 0, battered them. Burkhardt, two goals in the 90th minute. Really good performance, that. And SK and Simpo don't just scrape through. We did all right in the end. And this is what it's come down for the championship group in the Austrian Premier League. If you remember, the points carry over. It's just these six teams, these very good six teams we play against. We need to finish fourth or above to get into Europe. Second would get us into the Champions League by the looks of it, but third would get us into the Euro League proper, which I'm super looking forward to. These are the games we have left. Let's move my big head so you can see what's going on. There's some big teams there, and it's going to be tough, absolutely tough. So I'm going to zip through them all. I'm going to come back at the end of the season to let you know how we finished off, and then we'll work out if we're going to stay here for a push in Europe, or we're going to go to the next journey of the journeyman. Who knows? If you have enjoyed that episode, please hit that thumbs up button. It means an awful lot to me. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do also. And I'll see you here next time for the next episode of The Godfather. Take care. <laughs>